We are now about to explore Howe Hill. To model is a good old Norfolk Anglo-Saxon word, meaning to chat or gossip. My favourite Norfolk word is polywiggle, which does not describe Bella, it's a tadpole. For centuries here, a dodman refers to a snail that you'll see doddering along if you observe closely, with me by its side trying to keep up. The lawns of Howe Hill are extensive, and the kids loved it. I suppose they've been somewhat cooped up on the boat. Now they could run a little, stretch their legs. Here they're twenty months old. Bella found a toy to play with, not the first time. The week before this we were in Bratislava, when she did the same thing with the coffee sign, as a string quartet played a little night music in the street. Now here's an interesting tree, grown from a sapling presented by Adolf Hitler to the gold medal winners of the six-meter yacht class in 1936. The tree bark later used to carve a yacht. One of the winners, Christopher Boardman, was the son of the original owner here. We then made our way to the secret garden, through the wood, as an owl welcomed us. Being reminded of the words of Shakespeare, the earth hath music for those who listen. A peaceful place, a joy to simply stroll through nature, where the human heart can touch and feel things the city knows not of, and feel the satisfaction that deep down we long for, that massages our very being, not only finding our place here, but mysteriously feeling a part of it all like it's not complete without us. And it feels nice, therapeutic. For a moment the ache is gone and peace surrounds and we don't want to leave. Drawn in to the place of wonder, feeling alone, yet knowing we're not alone. Here ends my soliloquy. To be or not to be is up to me. Okay. Our Hill House is certainly beautiful and it's a great blessing to so many. What a blessing to spend time with the family. Bella is playing again. Well, that was a real fun trip on the electric eel and then into the grounds of the Howe Hill house and uh, the gardens there, the secret garden. And now we're back on the road. So we continue, Rachel at the helm admiring the magnificent house, blessed by the day as people sit and relax. Past huge old windmills, some retired long ago. Occasionally taking the opportunity to stock up on supplies, dispose of rubbish, or simply enjoy a break. Just taking on uh, water and ice and uh, 
Soon we're going under Ludden Bridge down to Ranworth. The clouds suddenly ominous, but interesting. I'm fascinated by clouds. They create moods, often make scenery come to life, constantly providing contrasting settings on nature's facets. This is a restaurant <laughs> with a view. The sailing boat sailing no, back in the background. Cute. Ben and Bella are enjoying their lunch. Kids are unpredictable, and here, having run out of seed, they generously feed the ducks with gravel. The old grey goose perplexed by it. At Ramworth, we take time to observe. Water voles, actually an endangered species, inhabit these dikes. His family have lived here for centuries. So we decided to visit St. Helen's Church. There's a narrow path beside the road, safe for the kids to walk. The joy of good memories is that they last forever. And still the best thing about memories is making them. Yet why is it we don't remember days, we remember moments? I love video because it has sounds too, be it the kids or the birds. Or the rain. Or bath time in the kitchen sink, one of the pleasures of toddlerhood. I can't fit in there anymore. Make the best of it while you can, kids. Ben and Bella love water, and due to there being no bathtub on the boat, this is the best we can do. In no time, the clouds passed and the rainbow appeared. On one side, the dark clouds recede. On the other side, the rainbow appears. The rain still on the windows. The geese calling it a day and sailing off into the sunset. Another memorable day on planet Earth. <laughs>